Hello, precious people of God. Trust you are doing well by the grace of God. We thank God for yet another day to spend time with Him, another day to commune with Him. I want us to take a short exercise, and that is, I want you to click on that like button to help spread this good news abroad. I want you to help us share this good news, and that YouTube will also recommend this channel, this video to others, and they will also be a blessing. Also, let's take a short reading from Job chapter 38, verses 12. It says, Has thou commanded the morning since thy days, and then caused the day spring to know its place? Now, this tells us of the great opportunities, of the great blessings we enjoy as children of God when we speak into our day. And so, it is what we are about to do. Open your heart, be alert, prepare your spirit as we receive inspiring messages from the man of God, Apostle Joshua Selman. Also, if you are new here, hit on that subscribe button for us and then on that notification bell. Keep sharing this message abroad, keep sharing on Facebook, keep sharing on YouTube to invite others to join us as we bless the world. You are a blessing. Thank you. Hallelujah. The Bible says in Acts chapter 10, verse 38, it said how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Ghost and with power. And he went about doing good and healing not some, all they that were oppressed of the devil, for God was with him. In other words, oppression comes from Satan. Correct? He said he healed all that were oppressed of who? The devil. Bible says in John 10 verse 10, he said the thief cometh not but to steal, to kill. In other words, you can look at a life and know whether Satan has passed through that life. There is a footprint. There are many families you can trace the works of Satan. He comes. When he comes and meets you, he doesn't leave you the same. He comes to steal to kill and to destroy. Jesus said, I am come. I am come that ye may have life and have that life in abundance. Do you believe this? Hallelujah. And here Isaiah is speaking by the Spirit. He said, the Lord's hand is not short. Why does it look like God is unable to heal and to deliver? Why does it look like Satan is prevailing over families? All kinds of manifestations of darkness. And believers cry and we look so helpless. Oh God, come and save us. And we talk about all kinds of satanic manipulations in different families. People pray, they have vigils. They bring pastors and prophets and it looks like Satan is not scratched one bit. Has that happened to any family here? People take communion. They take anointing oil. They take all kinds of things. They pray 21 days fasting, 40 days fasting. The sickness remains. Yet the Bible says the hand of the Lord is not too short that he cannot say. He said his ears and not so dumb that he cannot hear the prayers of the saints. Many of you coming here have cried. You've gone from pillar to post looking for solution. Can I tell you something friends? Especially those of you who are in the ministry. Christianity is useless until it can present the love of Jesus to people in a practical and a personal way. Are you listening to me? A lot of people who say, miracles, is it really necessary? Just teach people the word. Now, the day you get into trouble, you will know the need for the power of God. Because some of you are just laughing, but there are families that came right now. It's a matter of life and death. Hallelujah. There are many people here with all kinds of sicknesses. Doctors have probably given you reports that you have a few days or a few weeks to live. Maybe HIV, maybe cancer, tumors, growths, all kinds of things, barrenness, and all kinds of people coming with every manifestation of curses and whatever. 
delays you cannot account for. Hallelujah. So when we're talking about miracles, we're not just talking about healing in your body alone. Are you listening to me? We're talking about miracles, signs, wonders, breakthrough. You know what breakthrough is? Breakthrough occurs when whatever is limiting you is taken away so that you are no more limited. Financial breakthroughs, breakthrough in your life, in your mind, that you advance. There are many of us, you remain in circles. No accomplishment, no achievement. There's nothing to show for it. There are many families that are represented that way. So I like your heart to be set tonight. Don't just come to spectate and watch others. While I prayed for this meeting, I said, Lord, start with me tonight. That's what I told God. I said, Lord, as I dispense your power and as we show how powerless Satan is tonight, listen, let me tell you something. God will demonstrate one more time that every sickness is a spirit. It has an ear, it has a name, and it can bow. It says, through the greatness of thy power shall thy enemies submit themselves to you. They won't just bow. For there is a name. There is a name. We come in that name. And David stood before Goliath. He said, you come to me with your spears, but I come to you in the name of the Lord God, the captain of the host of Israel. The one who you have defied. Tonight, whatever has defied prayers, fasting, whatever, you will watch it bow right before your eyes. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Make sure that as you are standing tonight, you are also connecting with your family. He said, as for me and my house. That while you are here, the Bible says... When the centurion said, no, I am not worthy that you should come to my house, but speak the word only. The Bible says, as he declared, man, that result was happening in the house. And people ran back with testimonies that that very same hour. So the power of God knows no distance and no barrier. He stood from the tomb of Lazarus and shouted, and that sound reverberated in hell. No distance. It picked one person and brought him back into this earth realm. I want you to know that you are not coming to the kind of God that many people in their religion have presented. As if God is just a little greater than Satan. No. I come to present to you an all-powerful God tonight. One who is limited by nothing. Hallelujah limited by nothing he searched the heavens and the entire span of galaxy to find who was greater than him so that he would submit to and swear by and he found no man and the bible says he chose to swear by himself that by these two immutable things it is impossible for god to lie we have seen testimonies upon testimonies in this place the hand of god changing blood groups from ss to aa all kinds of bone conditions, cancers, tumors, HIV. For if it has a name, then it has a knee and it can bow. In the realm of the spirit, only the lesser bows to the greater. It's an aberration for the greater one to bow to the letter. And tonight we come with a name. Call cancer a name. Call HIV a name. Call breakthrough. What, whatever all kinds of mental bondages that subject people into pain in life cause delays that you cannot experience tonight you will experience the liberty of the spirit i like your heart to be open don't be a spectator see the bible says they had the word just like we did but the word did not profit them not being mixed with faith when you hear the word like this you say lord this is me they are talking about. When it's time for your power to move, as you are healing people, I will clap for my neighbor, but let me rejoice. Because your hand is not too short. You are able to save. Let me tell you something, friends. If God cannot help you, you are finished. Because no man can help you. He said, I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence cometh my help? 
Say, my help comes from the Lord, the maker. Some of you are standing outside because there are no chairs. Let me tell you something. Make sure you don't waste your experience. You're standing. No one knows you in this crowd. But I'd like you to press. The woman with the issue of blood took initiative. She said, tonight I will break some rules. If I may but touch the helm of his garment. You may call me unclean, but I will press. Whatever you want to say about me, we will discuss. When they saw Jesus in the room, the people found that they could not press. They said, look, let's tear this zinc. We will negotiate with the man after he gets healed. There is a way you can be desperate for a miracle. There is a way you can be tired of the state of your life and your family. That dissatisfaction is the raw material you need for the miraculous. For the Bible says, woe unto every man who is at ease in Zion. It takes a level of anger that you say like Jacob, Lord, people have been celebrating the same sickness that brought me here. And let it change tonight. Tonight we are not coming to discuss with Satan. We are not coming to just comfort you psychologically. We don't have time for that nonsense. Hallelujah. That every window of opportunity that is destined for you i trust that tonight god will restore men let me tell you what restoration is listen listen restoration is not advancement restoration is god taking you through time he said i will restore the years canker worm can eat the years of a man's life so a man is moving forward but in the spirit you are you are far behind you are just advancing in age celebrating but there's no accomplishment So, canker worms can eat years. Let me tell you something. But God said, I am able to restore the years that the canker worm has eaten. So that in one day, like Samson, he killed more people in one day than he did in his lifetime. Hallelujah. I pray in the name of the Lord Jesus that dreams and visions tonight will arise. There are many of you that the, the kind of gift and grace that God has bestowed upon your life, for whatever reason you have allowed Satan to lie to you, but I pray. And there are many of you just like Saul. Saul left the son of Kish, went to look for his father's ass. Little did he know it was destiny calling him. Some of you are 100 level students. You do not even know that God brought you here. You thought you just came for a meeting. You watch as destiny begins to unveil in the power of his presence. For when he left, he met Samuel and Samuel anointed him. Suddenly Saul, who left as an ordinary man, stepped into a band of prophets and began to prophesy and men said is Saul also one of the prophets there is a way God can alter the life of a man that your life becomes the epistle the message you don't need to talk your life begins to demonstrate it hallelujah so don't say you don't need a miracle tonight don't say you don't need a breakthrough Tonight we are going to be shouting in the realm of the spirit. And we are going to be telling some doors and ancient gates to open up. The Bible says the children shall not suffer the iniquities of their fathers. Hallelujah. And for those of you who came from far, let me tell you something. That, that journey alone is a sign that God must change your story tonight. Go and read your Bible. Everyone who came to Jesus from afar was healed. Not one went back disappointed. You don't know it's an act of faith to risk yourself on the road. Hallelujah. It's an act of faith. Because you see, God is everywhere. But his manifested presence to heal and to deliver is not everywhere. That's why oftentimes he will call men to a certain place where he will meet with them. Not everywhere. Hallelujah. The Bible says, but your iniquity, 
You know, I began to pray and I was crying unto God. I said, Lord, why is it that in a great meeting like this, only maybe few people receive testimonies of miracles and breakthrough. And then the large congregation just gets excited. Maybe they fall down, they stand up, they're happy, they cry, and that's it. Do you know that God's prophetic instrument for publicity is the manifestation of the kingdom in the lives of people when god truly touches you you will be too grateful to keep quiet that's how the gospel was supposed to advance hallelujah and the lord showed me one thing he said son we spend time trying to pray against demons trying to pray against many things which has its place but did you know the Lord shocked me? Not that I didn't know it, but it came with a new light that the greatest hindrance to the flow of the power of God in a man's life is sin. I know many of you have had it. But right now when we come for meetings, we concentrate on demons. Correct? We concentrate on um, unbelief and, and different things. Which is wonderful. But I need you to know that sin, listen, Sin in a man's life is the greatest and surest doorway to short circuit the power of God. Now, we trivialize these things. That's why we don't see the authentic power of the Spirit. That's why just a few people are touched. Do you know my prayer? Every time I step in and I see people, there are people outside to as far as your eyes can see. I don't just brag and get excited and say see the crowd i'm saying lord how many of these people will genuinely go back with a testimony because it's not fair for people to leave their homes leave different places there are probably hundreds and thousands of people streaming and following us online and it will be so unfair for people to leave their homes and come only to rejoice for a few hours and go back I said, Lord, it's not my life that will do that kind of ministry. Hallelujah. The sin barrier. There are lots of believers that don't deal with issues in their lives that empower Satan and empower demons to find expression over the life of people. Every time God healed people, he would tell them, go and sin no more. Lest a greater sickness or a greater challenge come to you we don't address the issue of sin because we feel oh we are the righteousness of god in christ wonderful and that's true but let me tell you something you empower satan a true life of holiness and righteousness and godliness is the greatest way of resisting the devil and commanding authentic supernatural power are you listening to me We must be able to close the door. The Bible says through sin, death came. The word death near does not just mean cessation from living. It means anything that does not typify life. Through sin. Sin opened the door for sickness. Opened the door for oppression. Opened the door for every kind of satanic manipulation. Tonight friends, I love you too much to lie to you. I won't deceive you. We will take a few minutes and truly address and I said, Lord, all this sin, sin, you know, the whole thing. God told me that uh -uh, it's not just my mess is there. But there are some sins, the Bible says, the sin that easily besets us. Hebrews 12, verse 1. It says, seeing then that we are surrounded by so great a cloud of witnesses. He said, let us lay aside every weight and the sin that means it's specific you know it the sin that easily besets us and then we will run with perseverance the race that is set before us are you listening to me there are many people who want to receive from god and i want you to get the best of god but let me tell you something if sin is at work in your life it will keep empowering demons because of the influence of god's power in this territory they may seem to leave you for a while but they will gather their kind and return back because if that sin issue is not addressed the bible calls it the sin 
that easily besets us. Hallelujah. And the Lord began to show me again. Hallelujah. That scripture, 2 Chronicles 7 verse 14, popular scripture, but many people do not see the life in it. He said, if my people, so the first statement is, they are my people, correct? If my people, who are what? Called by my name, but it does not mean they will be free automatically. They are my people. They are called by my name. He said, they shall do what? Humble themselves. That's the first thing you need to do tonight. Whoever you are, pride is one thing that kills people they feel they don't need a miracle they do not want to subject themselves to God's laws of receiving miracles if my people who are called by my name shall humble themselves and pray and seek my face and then do what Turn. this is what the church does not want we want to receive miracles and return back to our life so don't talk to me about my life just heal me and let me go just pray for me. Let financial doors be open. Let me just be a millionaire. Let me just be blessed. Let me build a house. Let my parents buy the car. Wonderful. Let me get the job. Let me be promoted. He said, but shall turn from what? Their wicked ways. There must be a turning. God says, I will be watching until you turn. The strength of forgiveness is if there is repentance. If there is no repentance, forgiveness does not have value. and turn from their wicked ways he said then will i hear from heaven he said and i will forgive their sins and do what and heal their land there are four major sins that the bible puts and that god revealed to me while praying for this meeting that easily beset men and we're going to consider them very quickly because i want us to just Enjoy what God is going to do today. Number one. Number one. Is what the Bible calls immorality. Hallelujah. Immorality is not just sex. Are you listening to me? So don't you sit that there and say, Thank God I'm not part. Just keep quiet and let me land. Immorality is not just sex. Hallelujah immorality a state of lust for anything that is not any the, the cravings of the flesh immorality a sin that does easily beset a lot of people that's why they see that they cannot walk in perpetual miracles you can pray you can fast you can jump but I'm telling you if you do not address the issue of immorality in your life forget about walking in authentic power you may not like the message tonight but God brought you to listen hallelujah because what we men of God do is that as soon as members come we just come and we tell people oh receive take the power of God do this no 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 you must address the life of the people so that the miraculous will be a blessing to them. Say amen. amen. Immorality. We must be able to open up ourselves and flog out that issue and close doors. Listen, did you know that the greatest expression of intimacy between a man and a woman is sex, correct? That's the same way when the spirit of immorality comes upon you. It seeks partnership with your human spirit. And will never allow you to walk in true righteousness and holiness. I want you not only to be blessed tonight, but to receive the authentic power of the Holy Spirit. If you came here to hear the truth, and to be blessed i'm telling you the truth the sin that don't easily beset us number two idolatry one great sin that easily besets people you know what idolatry is 
Idolatry is not just building an image. Idolatry is putting your hope, your trust, and your confidence in any other thing above God. Any other thing. My uncle, my auntie, my this, my that. The Bible says, Woe unto any man he that puts his strength in a man. This is the reason why many people cannot receive from God. Every time God says, I want to bless you, your mind is going to one uncle. And the truth is, you think you are trusting God. You only remember that your uncle said he will bless you. So when the prophetic word is coming, you are, see, you are already calculating. Who told you God needs your uncle to bless you? Are you listening to me? Idolatry. And you take away every support and say lord you have made a way for men in the wilderness you have called strangers to bless people i take my eyes i've said it in life and in death i put my strength in no man aside from god whatever god cannot do for me let it not be done wherever god cannot take me i will not go are you listening to me you must challenge yourself idolatry many people put their whole strength in a man of God now I know the Bible says believe in the Lord and you shall be established you shall be established say, believe his prophet and you shall prosper you must also believe the vessel that God is going to use but not to come and begin to worship a man because you are looking for miracles are you listening to me there are lots of believers who are caught up in that kind of satanism. Yes, God uses vessels. God is using me right now to bless you. And shortly we'll be experiencing higher levels of his grace and anointing in this place. But I want you to know that your strength and your confidence. This is why it is always our desire to exalt Jesus Christ. We have no business trying to exalt a man. Joshua Selman. The king of kings and the lord of lords. The one who is coming to perform miracles. Let me tell you something. I have confidence and I believe God will use me to bless you. It's not pride. It's the truth. He has anointed us. Jesus said the spirit of the lord is upon me. He didn't say the spirit of the lord is in heaven. He said it's upon me. So there is a place of confidence. But not to bring you to a point where you must worship me. Because I am the absolute custodian of the power of the spirit. That's witchcraft. It's idolatry. Hallelujah. So for those of you who came here to see the great man. Joshua Selman. You've had me on tape. This is the man. Nothing much about me. Except for the fact that I'm available for him to use me. Are you listening to me? There is only one name that should be exalted. Jesus. Not God. Jesus. God can mean anything to people. A bottle of minerals. One stone somewhere in your village. But when you say Jesus. The Bible says he's the express image of the father. Hallelujah. So every miracle that you will see in this place. Is the Lord. Walking through. Willing vessels. To bring miracles for people. Hallelujah. That's why we rejoice and we are confident. We won't do that false humility to lie that we are not anointed. I'm anointed. It's an election by grace. It's not pride. It's the truth. The ministers are anointed. However, we will not forget the anointed is only an usher. Christ is the one we are leading men to. So if tonight's miracle does not direct people to Jesus Christ, we ended up creating a platform of witchcraft where we become the king of kings over the lives of people. Hallelujah. Number three, very quickly. Unbelief. Unbelief. The Bible says in Hebrews, there's no time. It said they did not enter their rest. Because of unbelief. There, there, there are certain Christians who are so cynical. Listen to me. 
And many of you need to be delivered from that spirit. Hallelujah. You never believe anything that is God. Someone says, ah, I had a fractured leg. It's just fixed now. And you are just saying, hey, oh, they should allow me to come and stand and check. All these stories we are doing. How are we sure that the person, you see, that cynical spirit is what the Bible calls unbelief. Hallelujah. So, when people are opening themselves and receiving, you're just standing there and wondering and saying, wow, interesting. How are we sure this way? How are we sure? How are we sure? That's just the language. Satanic and demonic. Hallelujah. Say, I'm a believer. Tonight, don't just watch others and say this thing. Let me look first. If two people get healed, that's when I'll be sure. Or my friend that I came with. Let's see now. If you don't get blessed, you can't come and beat us. Did we collect money from you? We will enjoy the blessings of God and move. Whether or not you don't believe that God is at work. Look at the people inside and outside. Their joy unto God will trample your unbelief. But I know there is a God who heals, who delivers, who can change the stories of men. The fourth sin that easily besets men is what the Bible calls a lying tongue. A lying tongue. Book of Proverbs, the Bible says six things the Lord does hate. Seven, an abomination to him. The second in that list is a lying tongue. Let me tell you what a lying tongue is. A lying tongue is not just saying, ah, Reuben is wearing kaftan, when he's wearing suit. Are you listening to me? A lying tongue is that tongue that is not consistent with the truth of God's word. That's what the Bible calls a lying tongue. It's not just negating or saying things that did not happen. So if God says you are blessed and you refuse, you are a liar because God cannot lie. You get my point now? A lying tongue. Many of us allow our tongues to profess and to speak things that are not consistent with the word of God. God says you are healed. You are there celebrating sickness. God says you are blessed. Hallelujah. And now we think it doesn't matter. But the Bible says, out of the abundance of the heart, the mouth speaketh. It said, life and death are where? In the power of the tongue. And they that love it shall eat the fruit thereof. That means you will eventually eat the fruit of whatever you are sowing. I refuse to have a lying tongue. That's why I believe he will bless people tonight. I dare not say he will not bless. We are going to pray in the next five minutes and say, Lord, whatever will not let me go back with a great miracle tonight, take it away from my life. No, no, no. We don't bow our heads in this place. Stand up on your feet. We are going to pray. Now is not the time to sleep. Please rise up and pray. Inside and outside, in one minute, I'd like you to pray. Say, Lord, I know that your hands are not too short. I cried my life unto God. I said, Lord, tonight, as you bless men, do not forget me. As you change the stories of men, as you have always done, do not forget me. Go ahead and pray and say, Lord, my life is free from immorality. My life is free from a lying tongue. My life is free from idolatry. Tonight, my eyes are lifted up to you. Come on, pray. He's here tonight to bless us.
I have made you too small in my eyes, oh Lord, forgive me, and I have believed in a lie that you were unable to help. Who told you God cannot help you? But now. Oh Lord, I see my wrong. Heal my heart and show yourself strong. And in my heart, and in my heart, and with my soul. Oh Lord, be mine. Make sure you're singing it from your heart. Inside and outside. And tell the Lord what you want him to do in your life tonight say it so that when it happens you will know he did it don't keep quiet say Lord change my story deliver my family tonight Hallelujah. 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 The devil is a liar. Are you listening to me? The Bible says, The Spirit of the Lord is upon me. Spirit of the Sovereign Lord, come and make. Your presence, Lord, we be the glory of the Lord. Lord, let the heavens be open. I command the miracle angels, the angels of deliverance, across the land and breadth of this building. Everyone who is standing in this place, let him be under the influence of the power. Yeah. I'm going to rebuke Satan and the works of darkness over people and families. Listen, it's time for any devil that is standing your way and that of your family to go. For the enemy has done this. And God has so highly exalted him. Lift your hands. As I rebuke the works of darkness. As the power of God comes upon you. Let me help them in front. 
thou devil of darkness it's time to go let God's people go 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 let the power of God fall fall I command demons powers of darkness for you cannot stand in the name that is above every other name go or shall spring them outside that devil let God's people go those outside lift your hands the power of God sets men free sets men free sets men free you're going to shout Jesus once and the power of God devils will leave they must go tonight they must go are you ready especially outside the power of God will fall like rain shout Jesus Jesus let the angels, the angels of God are moving with a sword in this place. The angels of God are moving with a sword. Chains be broken. Chains be broken. Chains be broken by the fire of the Holy Ghost. 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 No devil can stand. No devil can stand. No devil can stand. I tell you, no devil can stand. Outside, the angel of the Lord is moving with a sword. A mighty angel, a mighty angel, a mighty angel. Outside, a mighty angel, mighty angels, mighty angels. Mighty angels. I don't know why angels are moving outside, but the Lord shows me angels. Mighty angels. The northern army of the Lord's eye moving in power. Time of Satan. Time of over the destinies of God's people. Outside, an angel of the Lord's presence. We magnify your name. We magnify your name like fire. I see a whole roll outside, like fire. A whole roll outside, like fire is falling like rain, like fire. Papa, take it, take it, take it. No devil can stand. No devil can stand. This is a place for emancipation. God's people will go free. And no devil, no power in hell will stand the firepower. 
Who shall ascend to the hill of the Lord? And who shall stand in his holy place? He that has clean hands and a pure heart, who has not lifted up his soul unto vanity. At the back, this row, at the back, for you shall not stand over God's people. The fire of God upon one person at the back, you will not stand it. It comes like rain with power upon you. every devil over God's people those of you in front at the count of three I command every devil go go one two three out 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 by the fire of the Holy Ghost let them go free every delay every habit every spirit out of witchcraft every enchantment my sister be free now that devil let her go free by the fire power of the Holy Ghost let her go 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 be free that devil for the children shall not suffer the iniquity of the fathers hallelujah for you cannot stand the light of God this lady has been tormented Satan out of her now in the name of Jesus be free The heavens are open God's power is touching everybody not just those in front come out of him come out of him come out of him by the power of the Holy Ghost be free now in the name of the Lord Jesus now be free come out of her the fire of the Holy Ghost upon you that fire power upon you. That fire power in the name of Jesus. Let it rain. Let it rain. Open the floodgates. I see a woman I see a woman who came with a child a woman who came with a I'm seeing a small boy where is the woman inside or outside what's wrong with the child his body is hot his body is hot can you lose him can you hold him if you are deaf hear me inside and outside if you are deaf whether in one ear or both ears if you brought someone who is deaf put your hands in the ear that is not working it's time for deaf people to be healed now or even if you are hearing i see two people you you are hearing but it's not clear because it looks like there's water you literally feel like water is going to go now for one of you water will literally come out 
Katapatoko fire. Deaf ears, hear ye the word of the Lord. Ephata, be opened in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Deaf ears, make sure you check yourself. We'll take some testimonies. Bring this lady. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Tonight is your night of deliverance. Hallelujah. Please, I need someone with a mic. What is wrong with the child, madam? Just I came back from the work and I had the body of the baby is hot. And I leave him nothing nothing to You him. believe God will set this boy yes, free right I, now? Yes. Oh, there are miracles. Yes, Listen, God there are miracles happening. Now. Once you are under the influence of his presence, God is changing lives, opening doors. name of the Lord Jesus Pasha, Pasha. I set you free the power of God is going through his body that's what is making him uncomfortable in the name of Jesus be free now be free now I command your temperature to go down your son is free. Take. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Someone came. I don't know what it is that has to do with your leg. Is it pain in your joints or something around your leg? There's someone you came. You are not a regular worshiper here. Who is that person? The Lord is showing me someone like that with that case. Please, quickly, quickly, quickly. Once we call your case, we don't want to keep people so long here. Once we call your case, please run out quickly. Please. What's wrong with you? Anytime I walk, it always pains me. Anytime you walk, it always pains you. Where? How long has it been? Since when I was small. Bring a chair for me, please, quickly. What's wrong with you? It's paining you. Yeah. How about you? Please bring three chairs quickly, quickly. Let's save time. Just turn it. No, no, no. Turn it. God is healing heart conditions now. God is healing heart conditions. Hold on. There's someone you have abnormal, what do they call it? Medical students, help me. Heartbeat, irregular heartbeat. Irregular heartbeat. You? Okay, come. But there's another lady I'm seeing. She's taller than you. Irregular heartbeat. Sometimes it beats, you even have to use your mouth. It's a very serious condition. Who is that? Please come quickly. Lord, we release now. The name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Spirit. What's wrong? Come, bring her. All right. Can I see your legs? Don't worry. I'm not saying she pull up. Just, just remove your shoes, can you? Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now please watch your screen inside and outside. Watch your screen. Can you see that if you are looking very well, can you see that one of these legs is shorter than the other? Can you see it please? 
Now watch what the power of God will do. Sister, look at me. Open your eyes. Don't miss your miracle. All right? Tell us whether we are pretty. Are you seeing that one leg is shorter than the other? This is why the pain is coming. You will literally watch it grow right now. Are you ready? Watch it. In the name that is above all names. Watch this grow. Are you seeing it? In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at, look at, look at what is happening to this leg. In the name of the Lord Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Did you feel anything? Help her with the mic. What did you feel? Now try walking. Stamp it. Come. Get up and try to stamp it. Try to stamp it. Just stamp it. Try to. You still feel pains? You still feel pains? It's... No. Are you serious? Come on, celebrate a miracle. Come, come up here. Jump. Can you jump? Look at. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Where's the other lady? While the ministers pray for you, this is a simple thing. I'm telling you, don't go around just pulling legs and disgrace yourself because that's what a lot of people do. You like this is not chambori. You disgrace yourself somewhere, someone injures you for nothing. Hallelujah. Praise God, sir. While they are praying so that we will save time, they'll pray for you. Hallelujah. This is what's wrong with you? A fracture on your leg. Which of them? How long? Like seven months. Yes, sir. You've been walking with this? Yes, sir. You can't been... walk except you use yes, it. Sir. Look at me. My brother, I bring you life right now. Amen. I, look at me. Look at me. In the name that is above all names, I command the fractured leg to go. Amen. Let it join right now. See, look at what is happening to him. Look at what is happening to him. This is the power of the Holy Ghost. This is the power of the Holy Ghost going through the leg. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Look at me, sir. Look at me. Can you walk? Look at me. Just start walking. Follow me. Look at this. Look at this. He came with crutches. Jump. Can you jump? Any pain? Fracture. A fractured leg. A fractured leg. A fractured leg. A fractured leg. Just got healed right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. A fractured leg. Hallelujah. If you're blind in one eye, what happened to you, sir? There was a fra who knows him? Who came here with him? Oh, you know him. He's a popular person. Is it true that he has been working with this crutch? Come on, give Jesus a shout of praise. Yahweh, I think we should give God some praise. Yahweh. Let's have the mic. Pastor Jake just prayed for him. What happened to you, sir? Make sure you don't tell lies. So, hallelujah. Actually, I, I had an accident. Listen, okay. The leg was paining me. The leg was paining you. Exactly. So, okay. When the man was, uh, when Pastor Jake prayed for you, it got perfect. It, it became perfect. Yes. Come up, come up, come up. Do what you couldn't do before. Do what you couldn't do. Jump up. Look at this. Look at this. If your blood group is SS or AS, now is the time for it to change forever. Listen, I'm serious, I'm serious. Please make sure you believe we are not joking here. Outside, I see that there is a mighty miracle that God will soon do outside. AS. Hallelujah. You can connect for any member of your family. Anyone in this place, by the power of the Holy Spirit, 
we command AS and SS to change now to AA in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. I sense someone has been healed in the ear. Someone has been healed in the ear. Please check. You came here with ear problem. Someone has been healed in the ear. The Lord is showing me someone who has been healed in the ear. Hallelujah. Sorry? My uncle has been treated for the past three Your uncle? Okay, hold on. I'm a fuller. My uncle has a twist. So every time. Your uncle has twisted. Yeah, How long? Three years now. Every okay. time I'm running, the uncle will be making some. Just remove your shoe. Let me make contact with it. What's wrong with you, sir? Irregular heartbeat. Eh? Irregular heartbeat. Oh, the irregular heartbeat. Watch it leave you now. Say, devil. Go! By the power of the Holy Ghost. Check yourself. Breathe. In and out. Test yourself. Could you do this before? Breathe in. Could you do this before? Look at this. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. You're free. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Please, ushers, hold him. Let me just make contact with your feet. Hallelujah. Or Bishop Stan, just pray with him. He will pray with you. Check yourself. You will be healed. Hallelujah. So we can concentrate. I, I used to have, I play hockey. I'm a sport. Okay, listen to this testimony. I play hockey. I'm a sportsman. And over the years, I've been having this muzzle pool. Muzzle pool, okay. Yes, but outside there, I was feeling something. Outside there, his legs started shaking. And right now, there's no... Right now, he's healed. Power of the Holy Ghost. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Pain in the right hand. There's someone, I'm seeing pain here. Very severe pain. You even cry. Who is that person? It's time for you to rejoice. Pain. Severe pain is like a shock in your right hand. Who is that person? Pain. No, no, no. Check yourself, please. Check yourself and if act on it. Come on, watch this. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? Watch a miracle happen. Could you do this before? Stamp it. Stamp it. Pastor Stanley just prayed for him. Hallelujah. The Lord perfect you in the name of Jesus Christ. How many of you are celebrating what God is doing in this place? The hand. The Lord is showing me someone severe pain in your right hand. Please, when we call your case, just run out quickly. You are the one? Good evening. Thank you. Where is the pain in your right hand? How long has it been? It's up to five years now. Up to five years. What's wrong with it? What happened? I don't know. Just like that. Whenever I stretch it, I feel pain. In the Can you turn it round, up and down? Hold on. Can you do that before? Yes, but no. But you, you feel pain. Yes. All right, watch what will happen to you right now. You believe that? <laughs> It is such fun to see, such fun to see. Say can lose. Hallelujah. Look at me. I come in a name that is above every other name. And we challenge this devil. It goes. Look at me. I want you to wind it as fast as you can. Go ahead. Don't think about it. Look at this. Hallelujah. Look at me. Sister. What happened to you? Could you do this before? Could you do this before? In the name of Jesus, the Lord perfects you by the power of the Holy Ghost. What's wrong with her? There was a time I wake up in the morning and I found this on my hand. What is this? I don't know. All right, I'm going to pray for you. Does it pain you? Yes. Does it pain you? Yes. The pain will stop. He is able. Out of her now, in the name of Jesus. Accomplish what concerns the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That devil of darkness, be gone. In the name of Jesus. Check yourself. 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 Check yourself.
to use you and make a mighty woman of faith. I'm seeing that I don't know what it is that this lady matched but she matched something that is demonic. That's what is happening to her. Jesus do this for your glory. Do this for your glory. I set you free. 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 In the name of Jesus Christ. I set you free. I declare you free right now. Shalom. Located your hands. Wow. God will give you a miracle now. I am the Lord that he led thee. I am the Lord your healer. I said power of the Holy Ghost. who brought a sick person you are a guest please come and line up quickly you brought a sick person you brought a sick person please just pick up God is doing some you brought a sick person now is the time please come out let's save time you brought a sick person outside you brought an invited guest who is sick please come quickly bring them to the front What's wrong with you? Please, technical help us. Pain. Under my stomach, I also feel pain in my chest. Pains. I feel pain. You believe in Jesus Christ. Yes. You believe he will set you free. Listen, sweetheart. What you see here are not stage managed miracles. Are you listening to me? You believe that? Please, can I have a lady? Just lay your hands on her chest. One of the watchers. Is a demonic oppression, you will rise up totally. Fine, come, come. You're welcome. Come. What's wrong with you, madam? Schizophrenia. What? Schizophrenia. Mental disorder. Schizophrenia. We, I think we should employ some medical people. Who is studying? You are a serious medical student, or you are a doctor? Eh? No, we have doctors, sir. Please come quickly, quickly. Appreciate him. Please, quick, 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 quick. Please hurry up, sir, and help us. Hallelujah. What is schizophrenia, sir? Schizophrenia is a psychiatric condition. Okay. That is characterized by hallucinations. You hear voices. You begin to see things that don't exist. Ah, oh, so it's like madness. Yes. Like a psychosomatic condition. You'll be free right now. Look at me, my dear. You believe that? Because devils, he said, the spirit of the Lord is upon me. Because he has anointed me to preach good news to the poor. To bind up the brokenhearted. To set the captives free. Huh, my dear? Hold my hands. Hold my hands. 
Can you look at me? Can you shout Jesus? Shout it as loud as you can. Jesus! Out of her now. In the name of Jesus. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That devil of schizophrenia. Go. In the name of Jesus. Who, who brought her? What happens to her? Okay, okay. It's going to leave her. Are you listening to me? It's going to leave her forever. All right. She sees things that are not there. Yes, sir. All right. Yes, sir. And I'm seeing her waking up and shouting in the night. Yes, is that true? Yes, sir. In the night, people are sleeping. She just wakes up and starts shouting. Yes, sir. That's what the Lord is showing me. The Lord set you free. Now, sister, look at me. It does not return to you again. And I also see the spirit of depression that has come upon you. The Lord sets you free. Look at me. Look at me. Run down there and run back. Run. I didn't say walk. Run. Run. Run like you're doing 100 meters relay. Do it one more time. Just do what I'm asking you to do. Now run back again. You are free in the name of Jesus Christ. Totally free. Totally free in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Sir, just please just spread yourself. Let's do that quickly. You just minister. We have to save time because everybody must be touched this night. Hallelujah. What's wrong with you, sister? There's this a headache I've been having for headache. over a year now, yes. And it keeps making me present. Go! In the name of Jesus. Okay. I used to excrete blood. You used to excrete blood. It ends right now. Put your hands on your stomach. That devil of darkness. Be healed now in the name of Jesus Christ. I've been having this particular backache. For backache. Five. Lay your hands there. The power of God will hit you so hard. In the name of Jesus. Be totally hope. In the name of Jesus. They pray for you. Hallelujah. That's all. Alright, let's have all the sick people come and line up quickly. Sick people quickly. Oh, oh, oh. You're sick in your body quickly. Oh, oh, oh. standing there I like you to be praying say Lord as these hands come upon me an end comes to it don't go back with your sickness those in the congregation be connecting some of you will be receiving the healing anointing in the name of Jesus go by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of Jesus
while we are praying will soon be done i like everyone inside and outside if you know anybody in your family listen who is not feeling fine or you brought the picture of anybody to connect or anything while we are praying whether it's hiv or cancer i like it to be connecting are you listening the worshipers are they, they are worshiping it's not just for the formality of it they are creating an atmosphere are you listening to me are you listening to me so i want you to connect are you listening to me i want you to connect to what god is doing
Can you see? Touch this. Touch this. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. Come and touch it. That devil is a liar. In the name of Jesus, the Lord perfect you. Give God a shout of praise. There is lightning and thunder, miracles and wonders, sound of many waters, heaven on earth. of i know there are many people just go back to your seat but all of you who came out the five of you all of you come and hold your hands together all of you hold your hands together five of you but i'm going to pray for everybody look at me the power of god will touch you i sense a strong anointing are you listening to me a strong anointing lord let it move across right now in the name of the lord jesus Randa cross to croto bashigeteba. Randa pros restoration for your family. Great restoration in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. Now delay. Any kind of delay. Kataba katabala. No, no, no. Don't come out. Don't come out. Please just stay where you are. Just lift your hands by faith. Because I see in the realm of the spirit two gates. Bring this lady. Ah. I see a lot of demonic things. Bakatata. Come out of this family now. In the name of Jesus. Every yoke of bondage. Batatata Lift your hands, everybody. 
Projects that are not completed by your family members. That hey. devil of delay is a spirit. Hear me. The Bible says, and the hand of the Lord came upon Elijah and he ran and overtook the chariot. At the count of three, the power of God as he's hitting you is touching your family members. One, two, three, like red oh God. Like red oh God. So papa chakata. Every spirit of delay. Go. 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 I command God to be open. Break through. In the name of the spirit. Everyone under the sound of my voice. Let the doors of destiny be open. In the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now, if you are a student here, yeah, I'd like you to shout amen. amen. You will know why you are shouting amen now. Because the Bible says that when Daniel was tested with his colleagues, that there was a kind of spirit that was upon him. And he was ten times. Suddenly, his, his intelligent creation his, his capacity listen friends I told you that this is the year you will do fearful exploits in your academics listen and if you are in 100 level happy are you in the name of the Lord Jesus hold on leave her don't touch her in the name of the Lord Jesus, look at me, young lady. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the spirit. Let the power of God bring you forth. Let the power of God bring you forth. You will leave your seat and come forward by the influence of the spirit. Let it happen right now. A contention of light. All those affected will come out by themselves. Leave them. All those affected, they will come out. The Holy Ghost will take you from your seat and bring you here in front. You will come out by the Spirit. Stop that lady. Just stop her. Come. All of them. No, they can't stand. The Holy Ghost will bring you right in front by your, by himself. He will pick you from your seat. No matter how far you are, he will direct you and bring you in front. Leave them. Leave them. They will come by themselves. It's the power of the Holy Ghost. He will bring them to the front. He will bring them to the front by himself. It's a sign and a wonder of the sovereignty of Jesus. Look, ushers, Leave that girl. She will come out by them by herself. If it's the Holy Ghost, He will bring her to the front. You will come out by the Holy Ghost to the front by yourself. It's the compelling power of the Holy Ghost and the castle in the spirit of power. There's one more person. There's one more person. You will come out by the influence of the Holy Ghost. The influence of the Holy Ghost. Sister, you come out by the Holy Ghost. You run to the front now by the power of the Spirit. Come out 
God will do a thorough work. Listen, I'm telling you, many of you will go back and see doors opening left and right. I prophesy it into your life. I prophesy it into your life. I prophesy it into your life. Sister, come out of her now in the name of Jesus. Be free. It's a year of supernatural exploits. I set you free now. Sister, I set you free. Because she's speaking a language in the realm of the spirit. And I hear what she's saying. The Lord is setting your family free. In the name that is above all names. For after the count of five, victory will be established. That's what the Lord tells me. One, two, Three, four, five. Please call this sister for me. Come, my dear. For God is not only going to set you free tonight, but God has begun a walk in your family. This is Kemi's sister, right? You will go back and see the dramatic things. The Lord is even restoring. I see financial restoration. Mighty financial restoration. There is a property your father wants to sell. Tell him not to sell it. There is a blessing coming. You just go and tell him. Are you listening to me? And for you, look at me. This is an evil spirit. Now, be free. Now. Now. This is an evil spirit. Look at me. I want to pray for you. Are you listening to me? Your family, can you come? Both of you stand. God is bringing a major, major restoration to your family. You believe that? Look at me. I don't know what it is, but the Lord is saying I should tell you that the Lord can bless you anywhere in Nigeria, in UK, or Canada. God just says I should tell you. Are you listening to me? Hold my hands. Lord, let this lady step into a new level of favor. Now, Kemi, for you, look at me. Is a restorative breakthrough God is bringing. What you are entering now, you would have, you are supposed to have entered it since, but the Lord is restoring to you in the name of Jesus by the power of the Holy Ghost, by the power and the influence of the Spirit. Where's your friend? Where's your friend? The guy that came. Come. at me. There are three breakthroughs God is giving you. Do you understand? One, I will not talk about it, but you know what I'm talking about. The second is in the area of your business and that restoration is going to come through wisdom and knowledge. Are you listening to me? Wisdom and knowledge. But look at me. God wants your heart like never before. Do you understand? Business books can only do so much. Are you listening to me? God must take your heart before he blesses your hand. Does it make sense to you what I'm saying? I want to pray for you. Hold my hands. Give him an impartation, oh God. 
let him know he met the king of kings strong impartation in the name of Jesus I command freedom for you I command breakthrough for you by the power of the Holy Ghost in the name of the Lord Jesus come you came from a university campus not Zaria where are you you came from a university camp, not Ebi Uzaria. I'm seeing someone from a campus, not ABU. Who is that person? Please, please come, my brother. Come quickly, come and stand here. My brother, look at me. God is going to cause a hunger for him in your heart like never before. This is not the kind of prayer you expected me to pray for you. But you don't worry. Is that true? To prophesy to my life because I've been experiencing so many. Please, technical help us. So, uh, I've been looking for God's direction in my ministry. Basically, my whole life. Look is at me, my brother. You, are, you just started ministry or something like that. Okay, you are going into ministry. Yes, sir. You leave ministry and pursue God. You are not equipped. You will die for nothing. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. You just calm down. You need God. You need to experience the power of God. Yes, sir. Eh? Yes, sir. So that you don't jump into the error that people are having. However, yes, because you came here, yes, God will ignite a fire in you. Amen. It will first start with the spirit of prayer. Amen. It will fall on you. You will pray like a madman. Amen. Are you listening to me? Yes, sir. And from there, God will begin to give you direction. Amen. You believe that? Yes, sir. Hold my hands as tight as you can. <laughs> Look at me. Just look at me. Lord, as you have shown me, ignite him with a fire. Fire upon you. In the name of the Lord Jesus, you will never be the same. Never be the same. The spirit of prayer, let it fall on you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Where is the gentleman? Come. From where? Footmina. Footmina. Mina again. How many of you know that God is doing something in me now? Hold my hands, my brother. You came, you will catch a fire. Look at me, look at me. You came with, an hung, with a hunger. God will not leave you. Just lift one hand up. You will feel literal fire coming upon this hand. And it will flow through every part of your body. Lord, let it be done as you are showing me. In the name of the Lord Jesus. The name of the Lord Jesus. That strong fire upon you. It flows from your hand from your hand to every part of your body and look at me there is the spirit of leadership upon you you are going back with a strong spirit of leadership are you listening to me i'm hearing the name rebecca sorry we're out of time we'll round up now rebecca rebecca who is rebecca rebecca student? No. Where are you? I'm in secondary school. You are in secondary school? Yes, sir. Will you be available if God uses you yes, sir. to bring a great revival in your school? Yes, sir. What school is that? Jama Secondary School. Jama Secondary School. Hold my hands. Both of your hands. Say after me, Jesus, I'm available. Like Catherine Kuhlman. Let your fire come upon me. Now look at me. Look at, look at the answer to the prayer. You will never be the same again. It's a mighty impartation. You are the same name. Come. You are a student of where? Maybe you. Yes. What department? English language. You believe God can do great things through you? Huh? Yes, sir. Say, Jesus. Jesus. Use me. Use me. Anoint me. Anoint me. All right, now you have the answer to your prayer. In the name of Jesus, ignite her. See, it's like fire in your tummy. It's that of the spirit. You will never recover from it. Never. Never. In the name of Jesus. Foot me now. Okay, why did you delay? We have to hurry up. Please.
Did you bring your prayer request? All right, quickly. Quickly, your prayer request outside. Make sure your prayer request. If you are outside, please write it quickly and pass it. Just stay where you are. to set free to win souls for the kingdom this and more may the Lord release upon you Futina. Uh, but you need to dedicate time for God huh? you don't pray you don't spend so much time in the word there's no other way to grow hmm? does it make sense to you what I'm saying but you came because you trust God to put a fire in you. Hold my hands, please. Lord, please put a fire in him. In the name of Jesus, that you will never be the same again. In Jesus' name. Your prayer requests, please quickly pass them. Just pass it to the last person. We have to be out of here. Just wait because I need to prophesy to the life of everyone. So do that quickly. Outside, even if you are just coming, wherever you are, please get a paper. Help one another with papers, please. Hallelujah. Please, quick, 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 quick. You should have written this before now, but write it quickly. Please. Because Pastor Jax is going to speak and prophesy the fire of evangelism. Are you listening to me? And Bishop is going to come and pray and prophesy and release the spirit of prayer. These two things. Are you listening to me? We have to do that quickly. The Lord is showing me doors that are opening. This is what I'm seeing. See, I'm seeing this thing again and again. Doors. 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 Many of you don't know the value of an open door. Lady close to Jessica, come. Yes, you come. My dear, you standing. You believe God can use you in a mighty way. You want him to use you. Lift your hands where you are. Lord, release an anointing upon her that will cause her to be mightily used. The Lord is showing me visions. I see two eyes being put upon you. Two eyes being put upon you. Lord, I pray that she will begin to see great and mighty things beginning from today. In the name of Jesus. My dear, God wants you. You believe that? And he wants you. This is not the issue of just run away from all these men that want to run around you. They don't even know where they are going. Focus on Jesus Christ. Are you listening to me? You need him first. Ladies, what you need first in your life is not a man is Jesus. If you know how to love and relate with Jesus, a man will become an asset to your life. Are you listening to me? Hold on. We'll soon pray that prayer. That special prayer to send away some people out of your life and bring the people God has destined. Do you like that kind of prayer? But you must be willing and obedient. Sister, look at me. You want me to pray that God will anoint you? You want to pray? good friends, an association of people who love God. Love is compulsory, but relationship is not. Are you listening to me? You mustn't relate with everybody. You have a very tender heart. Let them not take you for granted. Hold my hands. Jesus, please do something in her life, I pray. Please, give her an anointing in the name of Jesus. Bless her. Use her for your glory in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Steve Strings, please, can you come up and sing There is none like you, your guitar. Hallelujah. 
while you bring the prayer request Steve Strings will sing there is none like you I just sense that that's what we need do we have the prayer request please quickly quickly if, let's let's have it please pour it here quickly quickly all right there's this if you've not written just write we'll give you one minute quickly this is not a ritual God answers prayers I'm telling you no one else can touch my heart like you do I can search to all eternity Lord and find there is none like you there's none like Jesus there is none like you there is none like you hallelujah hallelujah now listen I've been waiting for the Holy Ghost to signify it please everybody stand up Jesus is calling many people tonight listen to me many of you have heard me preach you've seen the miracles there are many of you standing outside and the Lord is speaking to you hallelujah the Bible says come unto me all ye that are weary and heavy laden and I will give you rest hallelujah for many of you you have been running away from God or you have been born again but it's one leg inside one leg outside no one condemns you but Jesus is calling you today you came with your friend but I like you don't let someone sitting by your left and right make you not to make this decision for Jesus Christ you need Jesus Christ he said I am the way there are many ways he said I am the truth hallelujah I'm going to count one to ten I like you to leave your seat and run out at that count of don't be ashamed the Lord is talking to you many of you from the time I began to preach you have come to the end of the road as I count as I begin to count one to ten I like you to run and come out one two leave your seat and run inside and outside three four run now don't be ashamed of anybody five outside God is calling you Jesus is calling you run out and come no ushers help them ushers help them like sing the leave your seat Jesus. forget about your friend no other name. No forget other about whoever you came with like the name we are waiting for you no seven the name. No other name. come like to Jesus name. run to Jesus don't let your brother make you sit back there there is a better life there is a higher life there is a greater life in Christ Jesus better than what you have experienced in eternity and in this world seven Jesus is still calling Jesus is still calling eight we have two more counts outside Jesus is still speaking to a few people don't be ashamed of anyone leave your friend leave your relatives go on and come here nine we are waiting for the last person we are waiting for the last person Hallelujah. Hallelujah. It's all of you in front. Just pray this prayer with me, okay? Just say, Dear Lord Jesus, I come before you today, calling out to you. Please help me. Forgive me for my sins. Make me a new creature. <laughs> Wash me with your blood. Make me clean. I receive salvation in the name of Jesus. From today, I receive power to live a holy life in the name of Jesus. And Father, I pray for your people in the name of Jesus. 
blessed Holy Spirit, you see their hearts. I ask that God, you uphold them with the power of your word. I pray in the name of Jesus Christ that Lord, everything that has pulled them thus far, Lord, has pulled them far from you. Everything that held them back. In the name of Jesus, Lord, I pray that Lord, you break them away from it in the name of Jesus. Give them strength to walk with you. You are blessed in the name of Jesus Christ and you are forgiven by the power of God in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Please put your, hold on. Just put your hands together for them. We welcome you to the greatest, biggest, most victorious family. Not Koinonia, the kingdom of heaven. God's own kingdom. Hallelujah. Listen to me. Jesus brought all of you here. I want you to begin a great and practical work. Are you listening to me? Please. We love you. I want your salvation to be genuine. Don't just make it emotional and then go back. Uh -uh. Are you listening to me? A Christian's life must be backed up by a radical shift. You must leave the things you used to do. There's power. You must break away from ungodly associations. There must be a practical step. That's why the power is upon you. Hallelujah. Now, you do this for me very quick. Very quickly. The ushers are going to have your details. Are you listening to me? Tomorrow, you're going to have a special session with Pastor Jakes. He's going to talk to you. He's going to follow you up. And then we'll get all of you filled with the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. And then you'll begin. Every time we get people born again, the moment we follow you up with some foundational teachings, once you get filled with the Holy Spirit, you march straight to prayer band for one month. Hallelujah. You pray for one month. After that time, you'll be strong enough. We want our fruits to abide. Hallelujah. I bless you with the blessings of the Lord. Whatever has held you down, it leaves you in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let this be a new life for you. Please get up and follow the ushers. Please celebrate this harvest. Just follow the ushers. Don't worry, you will come back. Follow the ushers quickly. Hallelujah. This is what is going to happen. What do you do? What do you do, yo? I'm a teacher. You are a teacher. I see a lot of favor. I see you. This woman is a very good woman. Very good. She say amen. A very good woman. You can know you are good. Some of you are bad. She knows she's good. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You have a daughter. You have a daughter. What's her name? Joy. Joy. The Lord says, I should tell you, it's time for her to leave her name in the family. I don't know her name. That's why God said I should, I should ask you of her name. Joy, madam, you will come back and you will testify. It's a mighty visitation. Lord, confirm your word with signs. Did I pray for you? You're a businessman. You do not even know, but you're a major businessman. Come. You have not started anything, you don't know anything. Go and read. Let me tell you, my brother, what do you do? You are, you are going to do business in a mighty way. And God is going to prosper you in a very mighty way. Are you following me? We have not touched the area of finance. We'll come. Because there are many families here. This is an issue. We'll address that. But for now, let me just pray for you for what you came for. Let mama go free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Did I pray for you? Deliverance comes now. Deliverance comes now. You will let her go. Your body is afflicted. Deliverance comes now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost, deliverance comes now. Button the other shirt. You need to be serious with God. Huh? You are young, but you are not serious with God. But God loves you. Huh? When it's time for altar call, just run and come and stand. Okay? God loves you and He wants to use you. Wow. Sister, that fair lady, please run and come quickly. 
the yoke of delay is ending in your family. See, look at me. You don't know why I'm saying you should run. Don't do woman woman. I'm saying run. These are instructions. You understand? Please go back and run out. Don't be embarrassed. God spoke to me. I'm not doing foolish things. Come. Don't worry, I'll hold you so that you don't Hold my hands. Hold my hands with both of your hands. I saw a measuring tape. And the Lord says, it is the time for favor. Are you following me? Lord, confirm your word right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your family will come with rejoicing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please bring out your prayer request. Start passing it out while we address. Now, if you are sick in your body, please hear me. Any kind of sickness, it's time for you to come out right now. Come out and line up here for healing. Any kind of sickness, please come and line up here for healing. While they do that, ushers, everybody pass your prayer request to the last person by the side. Outside, please. Please don't miss it. God answers prayers here. Look at how many people are coming for sickness. You see how the devil is a, is a, is a, is a liar. Welfare. Can I get a cup of water, please? So I can drink. You will be healed. I give you an assurance. One last plague. And Pharaoh will let you go this night. Are you hearing what I'm saying? No matter how much the space is. Listen. Something's changing. Something. See his glory. Celebrate for one minute. seat refuse to walk back to your seat with that sickness as I look at you the Lord is revealing people's cases I see ladies infections I see two more lump in the breast God is touching this lady right now that is putting her hand on her face take it now hallelujah I'm seeing HIV. I see a number of HIV here. Hepatitis. There are men here that have all some challenges. Low sperm counts, infertility, whatever kind of nonsense. Some of you have a woman here. I'm seeing palpitations. Sometimes you gasp for breath. Who is that person? You, madam, God is visiting you. You are not the only person. Please make sure you write a request this is not a ritual hezekiah took the prayer request and took it to the temple and dropped it before god hallelujah now all you need please except if the the ministers ask you what the situation is otherwise just a touch i tell you the truth just a touch the worship team sang it just a touch for some of it will be like magic one moment is there, another moment is gone. I'm seeing somebody that coughs and you cough out sputum, sometimes like blood. Your throat is dry, sometimes you cough out blood. SS, I'm seeing a number of SS. 
people who need genotype change. I'm sure you've been hearing the testimonies. You don't have to remain where you are. Hallelujah. Jesus, you are the great healer. As we pray for you, go back to your seat so that those who are outside can come. It's called a miracle service. Lord Jesus, you revealed mighty miracles to me in the visions that you showed. Let there be a mighty confirmation in the name of Jesus. Pastor Jakes, Pastor Williams. Now, we're going to pray. Please, let's pray ourselves. Someone take here. Someone take there. Jakes, you can start there. Pastor Williams here. As we lay hands on you, check. Do what you couldn't do. Return back if you need tests. Sorry, we don't have a medical team yet to do instant tests for people. But then I want you to know you will return rejoicing. You will return rejoicing. Worship team, are you ready? You give us that song. Something's changing. Where is Sam? God is visiting men. The name of Jesus. Heal. Take it. Heal. Take it. Heal. Take it. As I pray for you. Heal. Take it now. Out of the Holy Ghost, kill whatever it is, kill now. Lumps in the breast, go, go, go. Lumps, go. Shakate kalabata kata, rekete kala. Go back and check yourself. Miracles are happening. Heal, mama, heal in the name of Jesus. Infections are getting healed. It doesn't matter who touches you. Ushers direct them, please. Ushers direct them. As I lay hands on you, return testimonies. Be healed right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go. Be healed right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Miracles are happening. Miracles are happening. Take it now. Now. Miracles are happening. Mighty miracles are happening. What's wrong? Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Please, if if the miracle is for a child, before they get there, leave the child so that they don't jump the child. Please, Hallelujah. Continue, praise. Healed right now. Take it. Heal. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Go back and check yourself. Take it now. Heal. Heal by the power of the Holy Ghost. They pray for you. Go back to your seats. Shaba ba 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 ba. Shake it, break it, and abuse. I bring you healing now, now, now. Please move forward, move forward, move forward. Don't worry. We'll lay hands on everybody, everybody. Mommy, the Lord visits you right now. Shake it, shaba la da ba kata. Get break it, shake it, la ba. Leave her right now. Thou foul devil. Shakataba katata by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I bring you healing now. Daddy, be healed now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every sign of high blood pressure. Go. Something's moving. Something's changing. Seas Be healed now. Yes. 
same time. Just a touch, just a touch. on you. It doesn't matter. Out. 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 Now. Come out of her. Out of her. Shake it. Take her. My brain took us over. Come out. Out of her right now. Fire upon you. Every part of your body. Fire right now. Fire. Come out of her. Come out of her. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Pastor Jesus, be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now. Be healed right now.
many of you remember I spoke and I said the lady who ran out with the mental disorder, this is how she has returned. The Bible says he's confirmed the words of his messengers. Because the Lord brought her here. Before you shout that Nago day again, we're going to cast that devil of darkness. Look at me. This night, one last plague and Pharaoh will let you go. Hold my hands. Hold my hands with the other hand. Look at me. Say, I am not mad. Say it, I am not mad. In the name of Jesus. Satan, you heard her. We overcome them by the blood of the Lamb and the words of our testimony. Right now, that devil of madness. Go! No more madness. Sanity restored in the name of Jesus Christ. Go ahead.
belongs to Jesus. Never going back. Never going back. I belong to Jesus. Shout of praise. Hallelujah. I tell you, I cannot begin to tell you the things that God is showing me in the spirit. And I will send one last plague upon Pharaoh and upon the nation of Egypt. After that, he shall let you go. We are going to pray for the request now. And then I will speak over your life. Already mighty things are happening. Some of you will go back home and find testimonies waiting for you there. Hallelujah. Please everybody stand up. Pastor Williams, Pastor Jakes. Okay, he's still praying for them. Ah, okay. Please quickly. If you are yet to submit your prayer request, do that quickly. God answers prayers in this place. Pastor, sir. Listen, please. While you are standing, I'd like you to stretch your hands towards the request and begin to say, Lord, you know what I wrote there. You know what I wrote there. Some of you wrote things that are impossible. But you are saying, Lord, you know what I wrote. It's time for you to change my story. The answered prayer will be the proof. Do the impossible. Do the impossible. Come on, pray. Lord, change stories. Thousands of requests all over the country, all around the world. My God, change stories. Make sure you are praying. Lord, we lay hands. 
Santa Procoto Soto Labaca Prega de Balaraba. Lord, change stories. Change stories. My God, let the angel of the Lord pass. Pass. Let the angel of the Lord one more break. Let these testimonies come through, O God. Let this request change it, Lord. Testimony. Request become testimonies. Become testimonies. Come on, say. Take go, go, break, take it. Mark God, what? Step in, oh God. One last place. Let sorrow now. Mighty things are happening in this place. Mighty things. Requests are becoming testimonies. God is visiting people. I can feel the fire on me. I know my own request and I know God is answering it. I can feel the fire on me. Hallelujah. I want to pray right now. Ezekiah went to the temple and lifted up the threat letter to God. And when he did, God came through for them. And he said in 2 Chronicles 20, 20, he said, believe in the Lord and you shall be established. He said, believe in his prophets and you shall prosper. Lord God of Israel Now arise Oh Lord Would you come To your resting place You And the ark Of your might And let us rejoice as we clothe in your righteousness, we celebrate your love. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, we pray right now. There are thousands of people Miracles will be happening as I'm praying. Some of you is happening to your members at home. Father, miracles will break out right now. At the count of three, I just felt the anointing on me. One, two, prayer requests are being answered. 
supernaturally Sheketele Mokotoba job 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 a job is coming I see it marriage is coming I see it admission admission jam jam request Wayek someone wants to get married before December I see it financial breakthrough cancer for your mother cancer for your mother salvation of your family members mighty salvation some of them are in the beer parlor the angel of the Lord is going after them You have made this place an altar of praise where you turn every weeping into mourning. This is no pretense, oh God. I speak right now. Let every prayer request here and for those streaming online, I change it to be testimonies now in the name of Jesus I speak to you I speak to you prayer request and that which is dead will hear the voice of God become testimonies and be delivered for God's people in the name of Jesus hallelujah give God thanks it is done Hallelujah. Now, listen. I always consider this part to be the greatest part of the miracle service. He sent forth his word. I'm about to prophesy right now. I feel like a mantle coming on my head. Please, everybody stand. Please, everybody stand. Believe in the Lord and you shall be established. Believe ye his prophets and you shall prosper. Please lift your hands, everybody. Please, as I speak, I want you to believe it. I want you to receive it. While I prayed, the Lord told me, if it does not happen, it's because you did not speak it. Things will change right now. As I speak, the angels of the Lord will begin to move to the areas that I'm speaking. All I need you to do is to shout a believing amen when you need to. Hallelujah. terminal disease represented in the life of anybody here or any family by the fire of the Holy Ghost right now it leaves your life and your family forever receive it Infirmities are going. Infirmities are going. 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 Cancer go. Cancer go. HIV die. 
HIV die. SS change to AA. SS change to AA. AS change to AA. Every blood disease, go, go, go. Every blood disease, go now. Go now. Migraine headache, go now. Go now. Fibroid, go now. Go now. Peptic ulcer, be gone right now. Be gone right now. HIV, one and two in any body or family. I command you, die now. Every infection in ladies and guys right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost be healed now. Every eye problem be gone now. Deafness in the ears go now. Any of your family members who is bedridden, whether for stroke, I'm seeing stroke and partial paralysis right now in the name of Jesus. I command them to arise from that bed. Every plague of death over any family. He said, and when I see the blood, I will pass. I pray any devil that has said you will not see 2014 and has said your family members will not see I curse that devil in the name of Jesus hallelujah any kind of delay in this place marital delay or any kind of delay at the count of three yokes and causes of delay be gone one two three go 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 Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Hear me. Hear me. Any altar of darkness. Hear me. I don't care where it's coming from. That is speaking against your life or the well-being of your family. Right now. That altar, wherever it is, it will catch fire now. Catch fire now. It will catch fire now. Shake it, it, it. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar. Shake it, it. Every altar. Catch fire. Catch fire now. Every altar against any family. Catch fire now. hallelujah listen whoever has been marked for this favor that they say things cannot work for you or your family members i remove that embargo of this favor now 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 Hallelujah. Hear me. Whatever the devil has stolen from your family, whatever the devil has stolen in your life, I stand as a servant of God. This one is going to hit many people. There are many families that need restoration. 
I will shout restore at the count of three. We're hurrying up, we're out of time. Father, let the wind and the angel of restoration move across this place. One, two, three. Take it, take it, take it, take it. I command restoration. I command restoration. Take it, take it, take it, take it. Restore. Restore. Hallelujah. Every yoke of academic failure, whether Wayek, whether Jam, some of you have not been able to enter the institution right now. I see fire. There are many of you, it's an embargo of darkness. You will feel like something jumping out of your head right now. I command yokes of academic failure be lifted now. Now, believe that now, shake it, take it, take believe that now, believe that now, in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. Some of you have struggled, hear me. Some of you are Christians, but you have struggled with habits, masturbation pornography is not like you are bad you have been trying and trying to stop it's eating your life whether for you or for your loved ones right now I pray that embargo of darkness sin shall not have dominion and I pray whatever spirit that sponsors that kind of life leaves you now 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 now, now, now. Anyone here looking for a job or your family members, they've tried, they've applied everywhere. My Bible says promotion comes neither from the east, nor the south, nor the west. I pray right now, let an anointing that will cause your destiny help us and that of your family members to locate you. May that anointing hit you now. Take it! Take it! I command miracle jobs! Miracle jobs! Miracle jobs! In the name of Jesus! Those of us who are in business or your family members are in business, I pray right now in the name that is above all names. The Bible says, it shall be like a tree that is planted by the streams of water, which yield its fruit in season, and whose leaf does not wither. Whatever it doeth prospers. I pray right now. I command every business here, grow in the name of Jesus. Grow! in the name of Jesus expand in the name of Jesus increase in the name of Jesus hallelujah now hear me whatever trouble is in your family some of you your families are at the brink of divorce some of you your father is not taking care of you I don't care family problems God is visiting them now every family problem because God marked this miracle service for families every problem Satan is hiding behind the corner and joining the heads of people at the count of three be released one two three families be free Families be released. I command peace. I command prosperity. I command love. Every foul spirit responsible for the situation in families, 
be lifted now in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. I pray those who have been destined to help you and take you to the next level of your life right now, wherever they are, destiny help us. I call you into the life of God's people. Wine pressers and bakers, show forth, come forth. And he went to the tomb of Lazarus, and Lazarus was dead four days. And he called him forth right now. Whatever is dead in your life and your family, I stand under this unction of God and I pray whatever is dead I command it right now let that which is dead hear the voice of the Lord come forth now come forth now whatever is dead come forth now I release breakthrough into your life receive it all kinds of breakthroughs all kinds of breakthroughs you are well favored I pray for your spiritual life some of you your spiritual lives are zero no word life no prayer life tonight let a fire that not even you can quench fire prayer fire Word fire. Take it. Take it. Receive it in the name of Jesus. A hunger for the things of the Spirit. Take it. Take it. Take it. A hunger to study the Word. Grace to be obedient. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Hallelujah. Hear me. The Bible says, Because thou hast loved righteousness and hated wickedness, therefore God, even thy God, has anointed you with an oil of gladness. And the Bible says, That oil puts you above your fellows. I pray for you. Wherever you go from today, let there be an anointing you cannot explain that will distinguish you. Let it distinguish you. Out of the crowd, let it distinguish you. Receive it in the name of Jesus. Any member of your family that is not born again, I pray. By the permission of the Spirit of God, let the angels of God look for them and bring them into the faith now. No matter how hardened they are, we call them born again now. We establish it. Hallelujah. You will never be the same. Never be the same. Never ever be the same. You will come back with testimonies that will make you afraid. Hallelujah. Now listen to me, inside and outside, please remain standing everybody. Many of you have come, you have heard the word of the Lord, you have seen the wonders that God has done in our midst. And I want to give you an opportunity right now to make a decision for Jesus Christ. The Bible says, they that be wise shall be like the firmament of the heavens, and they that turn many to righteousness as the brightness of the stars even forevermore. I want to pray for you right now. You have struggled jesus christ can give you rest both in this life and in the age to come some of you are outside scattered around hearing me from wherever even outside this building it's time to come to jesus some of you have given your heart to the lord but you just found out that you have derailed many cares have taken his place and right now you are tired and you are saying lord let this be the beginning of a new time I want you to leave your seat I'll just count four leave your seat and run out here inside and outside God is speaking to you one 
appreciate them koinonia they are coming no power can stop them don't wait for anybody you are the first person young and old too please run out leave your seat and come keep clapping what they have us tonight there are lots of people outside god is speaking to you three no matter what you have done god can give you a new beginning no matter what you have done stop struggling there are still people sitting keep coming keep coming koinonia keep appreciating them hallelujah now those remaining join us quickly make sure you join us quickly join us quickly don't let any devil stop you join us quickly hallelujah the bible says for god so loved you that he gave his one and only begotten son that if you will believe in him you will not perish but you will have him everlasting life i salute you for this great decision everyone who is truly born again made this decision now i want you to lift both hands to the heavens and make this genuine decision don't be emotional about it this is not a bible recitation this is a genuine decision that will begin your christian experience never forget this day for the rest of your life i like you to shout it very loud say after me lord jesus I am a sinner, unable to help myself. But this night, I have heard your voice, and I come to you. Save me. Help me. I repent of my sins. I receive eternal life into my spirit. And I declare that from today, I'm a new creation in Christ. I'm born again. The Spirit of God is at work in me. My sins are forgiven. I am a brand new man. Satan, I denounce you and all your works. From today, I am a child of God. Forward ever, backward never. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now let me pray for you. Father, preserve these ones. In the name of Jesus Christ, preserve them by the power of your Holy Spirit. Let their salvation be genuine. Preserve them in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I break the power of sin over your life. I break you free from every weight and the sin that doth easily beset you. In the name of Jesus, you are free. I declare you saved by the word of God. Begin a new Christian experience. In the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah now congratulations I salute you we welcome you to the biggest family the biggest biggest family it's called the kingdom of heaven hallelujah now I'd like you to follow that lady who is lifting her hands the ushers will direct you who we'll have your informations and you'll be back hallelujah please go this way just follow the ushers appreciate them hallelujah hallelujah now very quickly if this is your first time inside and outside if this is your first time worshiping with us please leave your seat and come out here quickly i want to pray and prophesy over your life please no matter how far you are inside or outside leave your seat and come you must go with this final prophecy all first timers have a prophetic word that we release upon you thank you for coming those who invited them may good things keep locating your life forever in the name of jesus keep clapping koinonia they are coming hallelujah thank you so much for coming mommy thank you my mommy is here hallelujah praise the lord now please join us quickly if you're coming from outside join us quickly this is the koinonia you've heard about hallelujah god is doing mighty things in our midst we're here every friday this was a special venue 
our regular venue is CGC. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Your life will never be the same. Never, never be the same. God will do more than you have bargained for. In the name of Jesus. We want to pray and prophesy upon your life. And I pray that the hand of God will come mightily upon you. Saints of God, stretch your hands as we prophesy. I speak over your life. You are blessed. You are blessed. We bless you with hunger for the things of the kingdom. We bless you with grace. We bless you. We bless you. Let everything work for you. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Return with testimonies. You will not need to tell men you came for koinonia. An anointing will go with you. What used to be a challenge for you, you will go back and find out that it's a mountain that has been crushed already. The Lord will go before you and grant you rest. In the name of Jesus. Thank you so much for coming. We love you from the depths of our hearts. Keep growing in the word of God. Hallelujah. I'd like you to follow the ushers. Just this way they will direct you. They will have your details and welcome you. We believe you have been blessed by this message. For additional information, you can visit us on Facebook on www.facebook.com slash koinonia Eternity Network International or follow us on Twitter www.twitter.com slash koinonia underscore ENI You can also download our messages on www.foreshared.com Eternity Network International Duplicating the fullness of God's life on earth Destiny, this night it must bow. Shut up, coach. shall come to pass in that day there is a rope tied around this lady's neck there is a rope let that rope be set on fire now 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 hallelujah we have to hurry up there's a lot for us to do Hallelujah. Lay your hands on her head. Out of her now. That foul devil of darkness. Go, go. On your mark said, go. Out. I see you in the spirit. Come out right now. Come out right now. Every chain. Yeah. Lay your hands on her ears. I'm seeing a snake. This is what I'm seeing a snake. Out! Out of her, that devil of darkness. Now! Now! Now, by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out! Come out right now! Out! 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 Come out! Come out right now! Out of her! By the fire of the Holy Ghost! Come out! Let her go out of her now. There's an army rising up. Fire upon you now. Fire upon you. Go, 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 go. Out. Out of her now, 
the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out now. There's no hiding. Out, out, out now. Out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. In the mighty name of Jesus. Hallelujah. The Lord is showing me a very big fish like a whale. This is what I'm seeing. To break every chain. Break every chain. Now at the count of three, you are leaving this lady. Never to return. You know my voice. One. Two. Three. Go. Go right now. Out of her. Out of her now. Lay your hands on her back. Out now. Now you are going by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Madam, please come. Can I talk to you? Yes. Where is your husband? You don't die. Do you, do you know why I asked you? The spirit of death is over your family. We must rebuke this. Who brought this woman? She's your mother. Eh? She's your mom. Let's start with you. Because you are not fine as you look away now. Just let go. It's you I'm talking to. Forget about who you brought. Mama, things are tied down. Things are not working for you. You do business. What do you do? What does she do? Civil servant. Civil servant. What am I seeing with business? Secretary assistant. Uh -uh. I'm seeing, I'm not seeing, I'm seeing something that has to do with business. I'm just. My brother does business. Okay, it's your brother that does business. Because I'm seeing everything tied down. We're going to break that yoke now. Huh? You, if we don't pray for you, you will have marriage problems. Out! Out! Now! Now! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Come out of her. Come out of her right now. Out, out, out by the fire of the Holy Ghost. She's going to cough out something now. Take her outside. You believe that? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands, my dear. Thank you, Jesus. Let the yoke of bondage leave this family right now. I break that yoke. It's of darkness. Mm. There is no standing. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Set you free. Mama, hold my hand. Weep not. Let him go now. Your reign over his life is over. And over his, the people in his family. You have stayed too long. Now. Go. Go. Let him go right now. You are living. In the mighty name of Jesus. This boy has suffered. This boy you are seeing. They have already finished this boy and his entire family. Look at him crying. But the Lord brings him hope to that. Hold my hands, Mama. Let me pray for you. Jesus, visit her. I take away this curse. This curse. Let the curse be broken right now. In the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Come. 
Please come. Look at me, look at me. Who brought her? What's wrong with her? Yes, because I'm seeing this is a chain on her neck. This is what I'm seeing. Eh? She has a mental disorder. Oh, she's mad. Wait now, calm down. Hold my hands. Since when? More than what? It will end this night. In the name of Jesus. Hold my hands. Now, devil, I challenge you right now by the power of the Holy Ghost. Let this girl go now. 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 Mental spirit. Out of her right now. The Lord is revealing something to me. It goes right now. Take her back to her seat and keep checking her. I'm seeing a woman. They diagnose you of fibroid. Please let's hurry up. You came here. It's part of your prayer, your list. Not a young lady, a woman. We need to end it right now. We need to end it right now. A dark woman, you are putting her tie. Her tie. Her tie. Her tie. Her tie. Come. It would disappear now in this place right now. You believe that? Please put one hand on your stomach and hold it. Fibroid, it's time to leave. Go right now. Leave this body right now and let her return with testimonies. Out of her! Now! You are a spirit of darkness. Your time has come. You are going out of this body right now. In the name of Jesus, I command the fiber to give way. In the name of Jesus, you are leaving her now. You are leaving her now. Your reign is over. Shake it, 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 it. The fire of the Holy Ghost is against you. Lay your hands on her. Out now. You're going. The mighty name of Jesus Christ. I see you in the spirit. There is no hiding place. The light of God exposes you and you are living. Now in the name of Jesus. Just keep your hands on her. can a young man like this be so oppressed please lay your hands on him let me pray for him now let him go now the fire of the Holy Ghost is against you there's no hiding there's no hiding go 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 see many of you let me explain to you what is happening it is not about the people some of them is the families that they represent this is the whole family being set free it's not even about the person are you hearing what i'm saying the lord is ministering to me I'm seeing a fracture. I'm seeing a fracture. Fracture. Somebody with a, is it a fracture. Something about legs. What happened to you? I had an accident. 
You had an accident. How long? July, 8th July. And from then, you've not been able to walk. They operated you. Yes. But it didn't heal. It didn't heal. This is demonic. Huh? It's the accident that would have killed you. This thing would have healed. They told you after a while, everything will be, it's supposed to be healed now. What's that? Your femur. Your femur. Okay. This one down. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. Did they, did they try to work on it for you? And it has, you cannot work without this thing. Completely. Do you believe the Lord Jesus will heal you? With all your heart. This is why you came, right? <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Lift it up. Lift it up. Father, in the name of Jesus, look at me. I bring you the life of the kingdom that I represent. Bones be joined to bones. Right now. Your recovery starts now. You're feeling the power of the Holy Ghost. Go through your body. Hold him. The Lord is doing a mighty work. See, he's feeling the fire of God. You're feeling the fire of God. Your recovery starts from today. Are you hearing what I'm saying? Over the next few weeks, weeks literally, it will be, but as a sign, you'll be able to walk right now without this. Just leave him. Please clear this pathway. Brother, look at me. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, look at me. Lift your leg. Start lifting your leg. Go ahead. Okay, try moving it. Any relief? Are you feeling? Yes, relief. Really. Walk by yourself. Walk by yourself. Come. Look at this. Look at this. Turn around. Turn around and come. That devil is a liar. Your miracle has started. Could you do this before? Could you do this before? Look at this. Come on. Give Jesus a big shout of praise. Look at, look at, look at, look at. See the miracle that is happening to his leg. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. He could not do this. Look at, look at. He's lifting the legs. Are you seeing? Watch a miracle happen. Watch a miracle happen. Jesus, we give you praise. Jesus, we give you praise. Look at, look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Let's walk again. One more time. Let's walk as fast as you can. Could you do this before? The fracture is joining back. Joining back. Turn around. As it has begun, it will be perfected. Give Jesus a big shout of praise. Move back to your seat. mighty miracle has happened here someone your hand is bent is bent check it now check it you could not bend it please god just showed me it will surprise you run out right now it's a big miracle somebody's hand you could not bend it very well the lord is straightening it right now right now right now right now right now right now the lord is straightening it right now look at this what couldn't you do you could not lift it before. You could not lift it. He couldn't lift it because he was born deformed. Look at what God is doing. Now put it down and lift it up. Put it down and lift it up. Look, see, see the power of the Holy Spirit. Look at the power of the Holy You know this is dead. Look at what is happening to him. Look at this. Can you see his hands shaking? Look at this. Look at what God is doing. Look at what the Holy Ghost is doing. Stand up. Stand up. Stand up. Come. Look at me. Now in the name of Jesus, look at me. Lift it up and bring it down. Look at this. Bring it down. 
Lift it up again. Look at this. Give Jesus a big, big, big clap of praise. God bless you. What's wrong with her? Please, if I don't announce the case, don't bring them. What's who is? Who brought her? Fracture. Where? Since how long? And you could not walk. You can't walk now. You can't walk. Okay. I'm going to pray for you. Just put, just put it down. Put it down. We are going to pray that over the next few weeks, it will begin to bend back into shape. You believe that? What could you not do before with it? What can she not do? Father, within the shortest possible time, let this leg bend back to order. Right now. Right now. Right now. Right now. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. It's time to wave bye bye to it. Lift up your hands. Peptic ulcer. We are going to start ministering now. Instant miracles will begin to happen. Pastor Jax is here. We'll verify them and have some. Ah, Daddy. Can I talk to you, sir? I'm seeing stroke. This is what the Lord is showing me. The devil wants to bring stroke from here. I'm seeing it completely paralyzed. This is what the Lord is showing me that the devil wants to bring. You believe me? Can I pray for you? Please hold my hands. That devil of stroke. Let him go right now. By the power of the Holy Ghost. That stroke will not come. We command that you are free. Name of Jesus Christ. Come. God is visiting your family. Not just you, your family. Hold my hands. Both of them. Look at me. Can you shout? Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Go ahead. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer, lift your hands. Please, listen. We are going to start praying right now. Instant miracles will start happening. Hallelujah. Where are your family members? Please come. Mama. Where is your first son? Don't point the picture. I, I'm seeing. Where is he? What is he doing? Nothing is moving in this family. We must break the hands of that. Huh? Who has a child in your family? My third boy. He fell in a child. I'm seeing a child. Uh, third boy, my immediate elder sister. We are going to pray. Because, okay, this is the child. You see, give God praise. See the baby. This is the baby. <laughs> Madam. Having, my second born is having mental. He's having a mental. Outside where? The person has run away. Eh? Just leave them. She's outside. Where is outside? You don't know where she is. I call her back to this auditorium right now. Wherever she is, I declare right now, whatever spirit has taken her out of this place, she returns now in the name of Jesus. Wherever she is, she returns now back to this place. I'm going to pray for you, ma. Things will change 
in a dramatic way in your family. You believe that? Visit mama. In the name of Jesus Christ, I bring you a visitation from God together with all the members of your family. I lay my hands. Every terminal disease in your family goes right now. Who is this? I'm going to pray for you. Hold my hands. The power of God will come upon you. Captivity ends. Now! Out! Let this lady go free now. The fire of the Holy Ghost. Right now in the name of Jesus. I curse that devil of infirmity. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Be free. Be free right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Peptic ulcer. Peptic ulcer. Lift your hands please. Now I'm going to pray for you. Pastor Jake sir. Um, well, where do we do it now? Okay, maybe we'll create. Once we begin to minister, as the Lord touches you, check yourself. We want to take some testimonies. Okay, this side. This side. Pastor Jakes will be there. Pastor Williams too is there. Please, we we'll only announce verified miracles. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now lift your hands. All, sir, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Look at me. The fire of God is coming upon you, Dora. Right now. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Take it now. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. Please. Any miracle right now. Pastor Williams and Pastor Jakes are there to verify it. I command ulcer. Some of you will feel like fire. Just shoot from your chest. That's the end of it. Ulcer, be healed now. This lady has ulcer. God is healing her. This lady has ulcer. Follow me, instrumentalist. Hallelujah. At the count of three, ulcer, be healed. One, two, three. Be healed right now. 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 Every trace of ulcer. Now check yourself. Check yourself. Check yourself. Do what you couldn't do. Do what you couldn't do. You have a miracle. Just move straight. We'll take some testimonies now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now. The Lord is showing me someone. You're from a polygamous home. Please listen. A polygamous home. Things have been going really bad in your home. In fact, two of your mothers, as in there is a serious fight going on. It's a polygamous home. God wants there is a lot of witchcraft activities going. Who is that person? Come. Look at me. Just look at me. Look at my eyes. Just look at me. Look at me. Look at me. I command you to look at me now. I'm not speaking to you. I'm speaking to the spirit. You don't know what I'm seeing in the spirit. At the count of three, that plague of hatred is going. All of you hold your hands together. As soon as I count three, button her shirt. A female usher. As soon as I count three, the fire of God will come upon some of you. This family thing will end right now. Are you hearing me? Lift your hands, all of you. I tell you to be a mighty fire. Just at the count of three. One. Two, three, shake it, take 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 it, take
I set you free right now from altars of darkness. Be free right now by the fire of the Holy Ghost. Hallelujah. They call a woman Mama Yembu. Mama Yembu. I'm hearing the Holy Spirit ministering to me. It's somebody's relative. Mama Yembu. Who is Mama Yembu? You? Mama Yembu, come. Do you? Where are the Yembu? Your name is Mama Yembu. How can God give a name in a place, Mama Yembu? These are the Yembu. Give Jesus praise. Look at. Please, somebody, can you collect the children? These children are sick. I see a plague of darkness upon their lives. He's crying. Sorry, oh boy. Are you seeing all these swellings on this child? This child, what you think is a skin infection, but this is a demonic thing. Huh? We must deal with it. Father, you reveal this. Do you know this is a worm? Do you know this is a worm? This, these are worms around the body of the child. That's what they will tell you is this and that and that. But we are going to pray for the child now. Lord, in the name of Jesus Christ, we bring life and perfection to this baby. Life in the name of Jesus Christ. Life. Boy, we bring life to you in the name of Jesus. Madam, hold my hands. Look at me. The struggle is over. In the name of Jesus Christ. The struggle is over right now. Let it rain. Let it rain. Ah, hold my hands. Let her go. 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 Out. Leave the family. One more plague and Pharaoh will let you go. By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Go. You will be a woman of prayer from today. Praying in tongues for hours. Mama, I will pray for you. God will turn around any captivity. In the name of Jesus. Out of her. Leave her. Right now. Come out of her. In the name of Jesus Christ. Look, many things are happening here. Don't wait on. Okay, there are a few testimonies. Hallelujah. This lady came in here with Pepsi Oxa. Yes, when I came in today, whenever I'm feeling stomach ache, it's like there are pins between my intestines. But today, when he mentioned Pepsi Oxa, I was healed. Because when I came in, I was actually holding my tummy together like this. Anyone has to close to me outside, close to the gate, would not have noticed it if you checked clearly. But now... So the pains are gone. Yes. Completely gone. If you press it, no pain, please come. Please come. Ensure press. Press her stomach very well. Any pain? No. Please put your hands together for the Lord. Celebrate Jesus. Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Come on, just give Jesus a big, big clap of praise. Okay. Wow. I hear that there's a hot testimony coming here. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Now, I want to pray. Okay. See, when you see me flow the way I do, I move only as God directs. Are you following me now? If you move by yourself, you will do something and you won't get any result. Now, 
The Lord is ministering to me. The Lord is going to address the issues of marriage right now. Please stand up. Please rise up. There is an amazing miracle here. Give God praise. Pastor Jax is coming. Somebody, a mighty, mighty deliverance here. I tell you, the devil is in trouble over your destiny this night. Please shout a big hallelujah. My God. Wow, a lot of you will not understand what happened to this lady. She said one of the nights she had a dream, a man was pressing her and forcing her to eat. Are you following? Was pressing her, forcing her to eat. And since when apostle began to minister and began to speak over her life and command deliverance, she began to cough out things like rope. Are you following? She was feeling rope all over her voice. And right now, what's happening to you? I'm relieved. I'm feeling relieved. Are you just looking like that? <laughs> Hallelujah. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. Celebrate Jesus. I don't care what it is. It will go. I don't care what it is. Hear me. It will go this night. Hallelujah. The Bible says, For this purpose was the Son of God made manifest. Not for a man of God to be a superstar. There's no time for that. He said to destroy the works. To destroy the works. Hallelujah. Marriage is a blessing. Can you hear me inside and outside? What did I say? Marriage is a blessing. The Bible says, Therefore, for this cause, shall a man leave his father and mother and cleave to his wife, and they too shall become one flesh. But the devil has orchestrated it such that there are yokes of marital delays over families. But right now, I said right now, he said one more plague and Pharaoh will let you go. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. I'm going to count three. Every spirit that is responsible. Some of you have people come in the night to molest you in your sleep, to sleep with you. At the count of three, I like you to shout, I am free. There will be mighty marital deliverances. According to the word of the Lord, it will hit many of you, especially ladies. Are you ready now? One, two, three. Shaka tatate. Shaka tatate. Be free. Be free. Be free. Marital delay. I cost you that spirit responsible for marital delay. I open up your marital destiny now in the name of Jesus. I open up your marital destiny by the fire of the Holy Ghost. I release you. Fire is burning in this place. Yokes of marital delay. Yokes of marital delay is over. Over. Hallelujah. Hear me. Every one person who is supposed to be married happily with dignity and your life partner has not come up men keep coming some of you is married men some of you you just get all kinds of irresponsible men they will just come as if they are thieves into your life to steal and kill and destroy there are some of us you are brothers you are responsible people right now i pray every close marital door standing for your family standing for your children every close marital door right now be open in the name of jesus 
Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Be open in the name of Jesus. Fire, fire is falling. Fire is forcing doors to open up. Fire is forcing doors. Shake, 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 break it. Me koto peke te she. Ma protos kose. Rakata kete bele koto. E peke shake te. Shake te 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 te. Mam peke te ke te kaha. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I'm seeing two women. Your major prayer point was fruit of the womb. Please come out here. Fruit of the womb. Celebrate them as they come. The Lord who located you. The Lord who located you. I want you to come rejoicing. Nine months you will come back with your child. Hallelujah. Come, Selina. There was a story. Let me share this to encourage you. Hallelujah. Praise God. A woman was barren for how many years? Eight years. Eight years. She was barren for eight years. She didn't even come. It was a prayer request. Are you following me now? We prayed on it and God gave her how many children? Triplets. God gave her triplets. One, two, three. For the eight years, God gave her triplets. They are all alive. They are healthy. They brought the cups and the tray of the dedication for me. I just called her as a witness because she's a witness. Let me tell you something. The Bible says children are a heritage from the Lord. I don't care what spell. I don't care what the hospital is saying. Even if they say there is no womb, that's nonsense. The Bible says, who shall decree a thing and it shall come to pass when the Lord has not declared it. Hallelujah. I'm going to pray. Mommy, you will see the hand of God. Whatever has taken the place of that baby in your womb, it will give way. You will return back with testimonies. There's fire burning my hands. And the Lord instructs me to lay my hands on you. Please lay your hands on your stomach. As I lay my hands on you, the fire of God will burn off that nonsense. Hallelujah. And as I pray for them, a point of contact to many of you who know some people, they have tried, they have prayed. Nothing is working. We have come to call that devil a liar tonight. Are you hearing me? Now in the name of Jesus. Womb be open. Right now. Womb be open. Now. Mommy return with your child. Return with your miracle baby. Baby girl. Baby girl. Look at me madam. You are returning with a baby girl. The name of Jesus Christ. What the doctor said, God is changing it. Within now and the next two weeks, you will pass out all kinds of substances you will take in and you will give birth. Let her go. Out! Now! Out! This is, I'm seeing a spirit holding her womb. Release her now! Now! By the fire of the Holy Ghost. Shake it. Madam, let your womb be open. Return with your miracle children. Who again? If you're standing for somebody, just stand. Miracle babies in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Miracle babies, return with your testimonies. Hallelujah. Madam, go and return with testimonies in the name of Jesus Christ. I'm seeing a family that has been trying to build a house. It has reached Lintel level, but nothing more again. This has been for years. Who is that? The Lord is showing me something. Please. Come. Look at me. Look at me. 
Wait, uh-uh. I will know if you are the one. All of you look at me. The power of God will come upon one person. That is the person. But I'm going to pray for you for coming out. No problem. Don't worry. Even if you are seated, I just want to minister directly. All of you look at me. Lord, you gave me a sign. Right now, whoever that person is, let the fire of God come in a mighty way. Now! I use the remaining part of you as a point of contact. Every demonic thing keeping that building, as I lay my hands on you, I tell you finance will come from everywhere. Shake it, take Maka protoko te brasha, mate kretos kopre, reke te kete, reke proso prosh, reka tabali kapos, ma preke telekos, mam protos kopre kete, go shata lakata preke de balarabash, rakata preke te, building projects, building projects, God is visiting in the name of Jesus, supernatural testimonies, some of you before the end of the year, before the end of the year, the hand of the Lord will bring resources. Come, madam. You came out for building, but what God is going to do is more than building. You are a very good woman. Hold on. Where is your child? They are at home. Three things the Lord is going to do before now and the end of the year. Wait, madam. Let me tell you first. Number one, there will be radical financial shift in your family. I've not even touched financial issues. Number two. Number two. This is what is going to happen. What do you do? What do you do? You're... I'm a teacher. You are a teacher. I see a lot of favor. I see you. This woman is a very good woman. Very good. She say amen. A very good woman. You can know you are good. Some of you are bad. She knows she's good. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. You have a daughter. You have a daughter. What's her name? Joy. Joy. The Lord says, I should tell you, it's time for her to leave her name in the family. I don't know her name. That's why God said, I should, I should ask you of her name. Joy. Madam, you will come back and you will testify. It's a mighty visitation. Lord, confirm your word with signs. Did I pray for you? You're a businessman. You do not even know. But you're a major businessman. Come. You have not started anything. You don't know anything. Go and read. Let me tell you, my brother. What do you do? You are, you are going to do business in a mighty way. And God is going to prosper you in a very mighty way. Are you following me? We have not touched the area of finance. We'll come. Because there are many families here. This is an issue. We'll address that. But for now, let me just pray for you for what you came for. Let mama go free. In the name of Jesus Christ. Did I pray for you? Deliverance comes now. Deliverance comes now. You will let her go. Your body is afflicted. Deliverance comes now. Shake it by the fire of the Holy Ghost, deliverance comes now. Come. Look at me. Button the other shirt. You need to be serious with God. Huh? You are young, but you are not serious with God. But God loves you. Huh? When it's time for altar call, just run and come and stand. Okay? God loves you and he wants to use you. Wow. Sister, that fair lady, please run and come quickly. The yoke of delay is ending in your family. See, look at me. You don't know why I'm saying you should run. Don't do woman, woman. I'm saying run. These are instructions. You understand? Please go back and run out. Don't be embarrassed. God spoke to me. I'm not doing foolish things. Come. Don't worry, I'll hold you so that you don't need me. Hold my hands. Hold my hands. It's both.
both of your hands. I saw a measuring tape. And the Lord says, it is the time for favor. Are you following me? Lord, confirm your word right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Your family will come with rejoicing. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Please bring out your prayer request. Start passing it out while we address. Now, if you are sick in your body, please hear me. Any kind of sickness, it's time for you to come out right now. Come out and line up here for healing. Any kind of sickness, please come and line up here for healing. While they do that, ushers, everybody pass your prayer request to the last person by the side. Outside, please. Please don't miss it. God answers prayers here. Yeah. Look at how many people are coming for sickness. You see how the devil is a is a is a is a liar. Welfare. Can I get a cup of water, please? So I can drink. Dearly beloved, I hope you were blessed by this message. I want you to keep doing something for this man of God, our man of God, Apostle Joshua Salmon. And that is, I want you to keep on praying for him, that the cause of the gospel may have free flow in him, that he may be granted boldness to continue with his commission of Jesus Christ, and that all provisions be given unto him as he continues in this journey of Christianity. And then, don't forget to like this video don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you are new here don't also forget to leave a comment in the comment section and then keep sharing keep sharing abroad and let's all keep sharing jesus i'll see you again bye